our next guest, excuse me, you can tell I do the radio, excuse me, our next speaker uh, will be Curtis Kalin. He's blogger at www.gatewaypatriot.com and host of the conservative teen web radio show on Blog Talk Radio. And he will discuss the importance of youth within the Tea Party movement. There's a camera right here. I just wanted to say that we can all wave to Janet Napolitano of Homeland Security. This way. Just to get that out of the way. Before I came here today. Put the mic right around. <laughs> thank you. Before I came here today, I sat down and I read the entire Declaration of Independence. And by reading those words, I think I got a pretty good sense of what the atmosphere was back in 1776. The founders believed that their government was too big, that they were being taxed to death at every turn, and that they really didn't think that their leaders were representing them anymore. Now wait a minute. That sounds familiar. Today, I can't help but see a massive government, a massive government that taxes us to death and in death, and I don't think that any of us believe that the majority of them really represent us anymore, right? Now, going on to the youth, though, I know many in my generation have a, the attention span of a gnat, sometimes. <laughs> And if you need any proof of that, three words, Senator Al Franken. Yes, sorry about that. Uh, Ventura Van Franken, yeah. Um, but I found a slogan that even we can latch on to. And it's very simple, it's two letters, N-O, no. So today I'll say, and I think we can all say together, no. No to oppressive taxes. No to spending our way out of debt. No. Right? And I have, a, I guess, a, a personal message for the White House coming from a young person of the next generation. Mr. President, stop spending my generation and my children's generation into debt. If we're afraid of being labeled the movement of no, all we do is say no. We are, for one thing, reading a bill before you vote on it. That's simple. And by the way, just on that topic, do you know how many pages of legislation have been passed by the Congress from January 20th till today? Anybody have a guess? 60,000. The correct answer is 8,495. And yeah, and the, the irony of that is that no one in the entire country has read it. So, the same people who didn't uh, read it, right? And how many people do we have under the age of 21, or 18, I guess we have today? Stand up or cheer some, if you're under age of 21. There we go. There we go. We, we are the faces of that throwaway line by politicians that about the next generation and how they're fighting for the next generation. All right. I'll repeat that. We are. We're, okay, we are the faces, everybody under 21, we are the faces of that throwaway line by politicians that, about the next generation and they're fighting for us and that. Well, we're the face of that. So with that unique perspective, we need to voice our opinion a lot.
I encourage all young people to spread the word, arm yourself with facts, convince your friends and family, and or even start a blog. I did that. That's all. It's the only reason I'm here is I started a blog. Um, You're an American. That's it. That's it. Yeah. The message for today is that all of our members of the next generation, us, young people, should declare our independence today and renew that now 233-year-old promise of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Thank you. Jo Happy July 4th. God bless the United States of America. Thank you, Curtis. That was fantastic. It's great to see young people. Anybody that's 21, under 21 or under here, 